Hello everyone, back to you in today's second video doing weekend forecast for today's second video. As always on a Saturday, we're having a look at the weather for the weekend. Earlier on today, we released the June month end forecast. So it is uh, shaping up, I think, to be a June of two halves, very unsettling in the first half, and probably a bit drier in the second half. I'll let you have a look at the June month end forecast and uh, see what you think. Uh, and that unsettled weather in the first half of June that we're anticipating will be very much in evidence in the week ahead. It is going to be a very unsettled week ahead with rain on just about all days somewhere across the country uh, this week. And there'll be a very unseasonably uh, wet and windy spell of weather through the early part of the coming week. Uh, Monday into Tuesday looking really unsettled to say the least. So I'll go on with that for you in a second. Just say about websites we're using for the weekend broadcast. They're coming from weatheroutlook.com and weathercenter.de and you'll find it to both of those websites on the links page. So this is the latest radar picture from the Weather Outlook and we can see that we have got uh, showers breaking out across Scotland now coming down into Ireland. Also a few showers around South Wales and going down into uh, southwestern parts of England. Otherwise, there's a fair amount of dry weather across the bulk of England and Wales, but I think those showers will be getting more widespread through the course of this afternoon. Here's today's synoptic pressure chart, and this area of low pressure, that's a long way from us actually, it's to the south of Iceland, but it is the driver of the weather for this weekend, and this is what's bringing us these uh, showery conditions. So, eastern areas are going to have a reasonable day. There will be showers bubbling up this afternoon as the clouds uh, build up. So, a few showers breaking out in the south and east this afternoon. But that said, I think a fair amount of dry weather here. Further northwest, though, we already know we've got showers breaking out through Scotland and Ireland. And these showers will get more widespread this afternoon. They'll be heavy in places, a risk of crack of thunder and maybe some hail thrown into, probably affecting northwest England, parts of Wales and southwest England at times. Um, and it's a cooler, fresher feel as well. The air's coming in from uh, the northern Atlantic now, so we've lost the humid feel that we've had down in the southeast for quite a few days. So temperatures in the southeast, very pleasant, really, up to around 20 and possibly 21 degrees in central London, around 70 Fahrenheit, still above average for early June, but certainly feeling a lot fresher compared to what we've been used to. Further northwest, actually a little bit on the cooler side uh, there, a little bit on the cool side, temperatures around 12 to 15 across parts of Scotland and uh, Northern Ireland. Overnight tonight, I think find most of those showers dying back towards western coast. The bulk of the country will become dry tonight. With clear spells, it's going to get quite chilly with temperatures going down to around 5 to 10 degrees. So we're into single digits for most parts of the country and that will be quite a cool night compared to what we've been used to. It's a repeat performance of the weather for Sunday uh, tomorrow compared to today, really. So a bright start with sunny spells, showers from the word go in the far west, and those showers bubble up through the course of the day, become more widespread and heavier, and particularly, again, affecting northern and western parts of the country, southern and eastern areas, always tending to get fewer and lighter showers down there. Temperatures, if anything, are a little bit down on those of today, but still pleasant enough in any sunny spells, ranging from around 12 to 19 degrees celsius and then things go downhill as we start the working week so this is the chart for monday uh morning six o'clock in the morning this deep area of low pressure is down to the southwest it's deepening all the time also got another low pressure there across western parts of scotland and northern Ireland. now through the day on monday this low pressure develops into quite a major uh feature actually at 995 millibars that's an unusually deep area of low pressure for june so what it means for weather is that I think we start uh, Monday on quite a wet note through western Scotland down into southwest Scotland too, probably through much of Ireland into northwest England and parts of North Wales. There could be some heavy and persistent outbreaks of rain there from the word go. Elsewhere, we probably get off to a fairly dry start. In the east, there should be some sunshine. But then this area of low pressure moving up from the southwest, that's likely to bring cloud and outbreaks of heavy rain in from the south and west through the course of the day. Many places will turn wet and windy on Monday afternoon. Probably that rain doesn't arrive into Scotland and eastern parts of England until very late on in the afternoon or into the evening. By the evening, we might be seeing gusts of wind 
up to around 50 or 60 miles an hour across some southern and southwestern coastal regions. So that's reaching a uh, gale force. Again, quite unusual for early June. Temperatures technically quite warm, actually, in the east. We could still be up to around 20 degrees before that rain arise later on Monday afternoon but under the persistent rain and the strong winds obviously it's going to feel very cool with temperatures probably no better but around 12 13 or 14 degrees and then that area of low pressure becomes a major feature there across the country particularly England and Wales overnight Monday into Tuesday but rain could turn a bit torrential across parts of England and Wales on uh, Monday night, I will be ruling out 25 to 50 millimetres of rain. That's up to two inches in some places. We'll probably look at this in more detail uh, tomorrow. Um, do a little bit of a rain watch, perhaps, tomorrow. See what the uh, models are making of this in depth. But it does look very wet overnight, uh, Monday into Tuesday. And windy too. Again, we could have gale force winds blowing up the channel and around southwestern parts of the country. Scotland probably misses out on the worst of a persistent rain uh, with this. Through the course of Tuesday, that low pressure clears off into the North Sea. It takes quite a while to do so, but it leaves us with a strong northwesterly wind and further shower. So we start Tuesday on really quite a wet note, heavy outbreaks of rain, possibly torrential in places. That rain very gradually pushes over onto the eastern side and clears away into the North Sea to be followed by, yes, some sunny spells, but also lots Lots of heavy showers, and most showers could contain hail and thunder on Tuesday afternoon. With the wind going into the northwest, it's a strong wind as well. Uh, it's going to feel very cool indeed. Temperatures probably no better, but around 10 to 16 degrees Celsius. Things calm down a little bit for Wednesday. That area of low pressure is off the east coast of Scotland by then. And uh, more low pressure is waiting in the wings in the Atlantic. But we're in a brief weather window on Wednesday. So I think we will have a calmer day. More in way of sunny spells coming through and mostly dry conditions. Of course, showers could bubble up. They might be a little bit on the heavier side. But I think overall Wednesday is probably just about the best day of the, uh, of the working week in terms of drier weather. By the end of the day, I would suspect we've got more rain starting to gather down to the far south and southwest of the country. Temperatures in the sunshine, probably up to around 18 or 19 degrees, will feel pleasant enough. We move through to Thursday, and of course this is the day of the uh, 2017 general election, and we're going to find low pressure coming back in off the Atlantic. So it looks an unsettled election day. If you're going to be off to vote, you probably have to take an umbrella with you, because I think we'll have outbreaks of rain from the word go in the west. Eastern area is likely to be dry in the morning, but that rain spreading across the country through the course of day. And again, some of the rain could be quite heavy and persistent. Nothing like the extent that we have on Monday to Tuesday, but even so, um, quite a wet day coming up for Thursday. We're also bringing up some warmer, more humid air with this area of low pressure, so we may well find, as the humidity increases in the southeast on Thursday afternoon, we might find some heavy thundery outbreaks developing, maybe a few thunderstorms being mixed in. A little bit uncertain on that just yet, but uh, I wouldn't totally rule out the possibility. So despite the cloud and rain, temperatures in the southeast might be up to around 21 or 22 degrees on Thursday afternoon. Really quite warm and humid, 72 Fahrenheit, but it's cooler and fresher out in the north and the west. And then that leaves us with a very unsettled day for Friday. Low pressure is just sitting over top of the country. We'll lose a persistent rain overnight Thursday into Friday. Uh, but Friday itself will be a day of sunshine and showers. And some of these showers are likely to be heavy. There'll be a risk of hail and thunder being mixed in again. Um, so uh, pretty wet end to the week, really. Of course, some places will miss those showers and stay mostly dry. Uh, temperatures on Friday, probably no better, but around 15 to 20 degrees. And then we go through to next weekend got this really deep area of low pressure in the Atlantic, but we are building up a bit of a ridge to the southeast. So for southern eastern areas next weekend might not be too bad. Fairly warm and mostly dry perhaps down in the southeast, but out to the north and west this area of low pressure is likely to be bringing heavy rain and potentially some uh, quite strong winds to Scotland 
and Northern Ireland. Finally, just having a look at charts from the weather outlook. So we've got sunshine and showers, particularly in the north and the west today. And uh, tomorrow is a repeat performance, really. The showers are generally across the whole country, but I think the worst of them is likely to be in the north and the west. And then we get, well, really quite atrocious weather as we go through into Monday afternoon and Monday evening with heavy rain out to the west that could turn torrential across England and Wales particularly on uh, Monday night very wet start to Tuesday very gradually that persistent rain clears away to the east takes a long time to go from eastern counties and then it's sunshine and showers and some of these showers are like to be heavy and thundery on what will be really quite a cool day slightly better for Wednesday more a wet window although by the end of the day we've got more rain starting to arrive in the south and then as we go through into uh, Thursday, there we are. We've got outbreaks of rain spreading across the country uh, on what will be another fairly wet day. It starts to turn more humid in the southeast later, which might set off some thundery showers on Thursday evening. And then into Friday, really is a case of sunshine and showers. Again, some of the showers are likely to be heavy and thundery, probably quite slow moving as well as the wind falls lighter. However, next weekend is looking better for southern and eastern parts of the country, still unsettled in the north and west. So, in summary, we've got a very unsettled week coming up. We've started the summer and the weather has uh, definitely deteriorated if you don't like rain. We've got showers coming up over the weekend. Into next week, very wet and windy Monday and Tuesday. Really uh, unsettled period then. Slightly drier for Wednesday, although probably more rain in the south by the close of play. And then for Thursday and Friday, well, wet weather spreads across the country on Thursday, probably giving us a very damp uh, election day. And then for Friday, it looks like it's sunshine and showers. Temperatures overall cooler than we've had recently, but probably still a little bit above average. Although Tuesday does look a notably cool uh, day. Right, that's all for now. Don't forget to check out the month head forecast if, you're not, if you've not done so uh, yet. Uh, but that's all for now. And thanks for watching.